Hey everyone, welcome back. We have done it. Perfected Revenant. Many use Revenant as a weapon platform. Some use him as a Reeve bot. Once upon a time, many of us tried to ability DPS using his fourth ability. Instead, Dance Macabre. It's one of the oldest build concepts for Revenant as time itself. However, Dance Macabre was always seen as too weak or too energy intensive to maintain. It was not a viable long-term steel pad DPS tool. Or was it? Today, I'm gonna show you a 125 to 130 kpm Danse Macabre that destroys everything on Steel Path, has infinite energy, to the point you can even use the charged up version that drains even more energy, all the while remaining completely invincible, completely unkillable. We ran this for 30 minutes on Steel Path without ever having to leave our 4 except when we fell off the map with zero deaths. So let's dive right in. Today's build is entirely about the Warframe and your synergy tools on your loadout. This means I don't really care about your weapon choices. But if you really want, yeah, you can bring something to kill Acolytes or Annoying Xmas. But realistically, this build can dance both of them to death easily. So let's go over how Dance Macabre works. This ability on Revenant locks you into a spin to win while it is active. It is a channeled ability, meaning efficiency calculations use uncapped values, and the true energy drain value depends on both efficiency and duration. The beam hitboxes do actually match the rotating beams themselves, and increasing range only increases the width of the beams, but not how far out around you they hit. Strength of course increases damage per second, which can be doubled by holding down mouse 1 at the cost of double the energy drain. Beams adapt to the enemies they hit after a moment, allowing you to always deal bonus damage against enemy health types. Perhaps though, the most interesting feature of Danse Macabre is it locking out all other abilities while active, except the third ability slot. By subsuming an ability over Reeve, you can cast whatever it is in this slot while Danse Macabre is active. Yes, Reeve and Danse is a potent base combo, but what if you don't want to worry about drifting around and you just want to spin your way to victory? This is where Pillage comes in. You cannot cast Mesmer Skin while in Danse Macabre. The only way to get Mesmer stacks back is to kill enemies with Reeve while you still have stacks remaining. We subsumed Reeve off, so our survivability needs to come from Pillage. This is the perfect solution because Pillage solves all of our problems. It grants a status cleanse and shield gate reset, achieving the survivability Mesmer Skin is intended to do, while also defense stripping enemies. This allows Danse Macabre to easily eliminate all threats since armor scaling is no longer an issue. More importantly, due to the shield rework, Pillage becomes even stronger than before, allowing Revenant to have shield gate windows that last longer than the cast and return of Pillage itself. Because you want to cast Pillage constantly to armor strip enemies so Danse Macabre can destroy them anyways, you end up replenishing shields faster than your shield gate period ends. And the cherry on top? Acolytes can be enthralled, which shuts off their AI and completely removes their damage attenuation, allowing them to be killed by literally anything on your loadout, be it weapons, Reeve, or even Danse Macabre itself. If you really want to, you can even just skip the enthrall and spin them to death as is over a few seconds since your pillage will remove all their armor anyways. Just remember that pillage can only remove shields or armor per cast, hence you will not be able to remove the armor of acolytes with pillage until their shields are fully depleted. Okay, let's look at that revenant build. This setup uses two strength archon shards. You do not need a tau forge, the requirement is achieving plus 18% strength. Also, as a preface that I will discuss later, do not use Augur mods anywhere in your loadout today, as it will ruin this setup. Our aura today is Corrosive Projection. 30 meter radar built in is enough since we only kill enemies that get close to us. However, they die near instantly, so it isn't an issue. We want to reach 328 strength so that Pillage strips enemies instantly in a single cast. This also buffs the damage of our 4 itself, and this also removes the need for casting speed, since full stripping instantly means Donald's Macabre can start doing its full damage right away. Molt Augmented will push a 2 shard setup to 330 strength after 250 kills, which should only take at most 2.5 minutes from mission start on this setup. We cannot be knocked down or out of Donald's Macabre, so we don't need Prime Sure Footed, but be aware you can still be pushed around and knocked away, which can cause you to fall off the map and need to reactivate his 4. You might also notice my rank 3 Blind Rage and using Power Drift, instead of just using a rank 5 Blind Rage. This is because I wanted to maintain 175 efficiency for casting Pillage as cheap as possible and minimizing Danse Macabre's drain. 
Now, the true efficiency of this build is actually 185, which you cannot see. This 185 value is used for channeling calculations only and not raw ability cast costs. I have a chart in the description and pinned comment, as well as the weaker article for those interested in learning about this. At 185 efficiency, you need to have at least 60 duration to maintain the same minimum drain calculation as what you would have on 175 efficiency 100 duration. This is 25% of the original drain cost, which you can see on the tooltip, 5 energy per second instead of 20. This also means the charged version of this ability will only drain 10 energy per second instead of 40. Because we kill everything near instantly, at 125 to 130 kpm a minute, equilibrium is enough to offset the energy costs with arcane energize as a safety net. As a failsafe, you could also use energy max archon shards to give even more wiggle room when you top up so that you don't need to be as reliant on frequent energy orbs. But Boreal's hatred here is more important than just for a plus 15% ability efficiency. You might also be wondering why I didn't use Zonger's Secrets here and then a rank 2 Blonde Rage which would still get us 175 efficiency and still reach 270 strength while freeing your Exilus. There's two reasons. One, at 175 efficiency, you need 100 duration to cut Dance Macabre's drain to just 5 per second, which we clearly don't have. Two, this fucks our shield gating. Pillage restores all our shields plus overshields constantly on cast. When our shields currently break, we get 2.21 seconds shield gate. However, Augur's Secrets will restore tiny shield on pillage recast due to the set bonus. If your shield breaks again during this period before pillage returns, it is possible to replace your longer shield gate with a shorter shield gate and get yourself killed. How likely? Rare, but you don't want to take that risk, and this is the same reason why you don't want to use Augur mods or Brief Respite on Protea. Because if your shields break early a second time, it will replace your 3 seconds shield grenade gate with the shitty .33 seconds gate. Therefore, Boreal's Hatred providing ability efficiency allows us to run a higher rank blind rage, both dodging the Augur shield gate issue with Augur secrets with pillage, and increasing channeling efficiency to 185% to further improve our energy economy on Dance Macabre. Finally, as an added bonus, Boreal's Hatred also grants plus 65% shield capacity, pushing us to 1526 max. This is both above the 1150 shield requirement to max out scaling shield gate to 2.5 seconds and can still easily be refilled in a single pillage cast. Boreal's Hatred manages to solve both energy economy and survivability issues while even providing extra survivability on top. Personally, I would recommend Matterize so that you can full strip in a single pillage cast even sooner as it grants plus 40% strength for 20 seconds on double void sling, but your focus school choice is honestly quite free. Once Mold Augmented is stacked, you never really have to leave your 4, and even casting speed doesn't help much, since pillage itself is so fast to cast, especially on a single cast strip. The last piece of the puzzle is optional, but worth considering. Since we kill everything close to us near instantly, the only thing that can help improve KPM more is grouping. Therefore, I'm bringing Nautilus Cordon Manifold setup as always with this build. You might also be wondering, how do we activate Manifold Bond when we're always in our 4, which can only inflict 1 or 2 status types on an enemy? That's where Hellstrom comes in, modded for Viral and Heat for Crowd Control and Premature Armor Reduction. We also use the new Radiation mod from Whispers in the Wall, granting Hellstrom 3 elemental types for its AoE, alongside stacking fire rate since it's so low, plus primed Firestorm. For enemies that survive longer, then this allows Hellstrom to prime them with Viral such that our 4 deals more damage. While Hellstrom is not able to hit every enemy that we kill before they die, this will still contribute to more frequent Cordon activations from Manifold Bond procking. This build is extremely simple to play. Activate Sling Strength if you're on Matteride to make early stripping easier in a single cast. Otherwise, just top up on energy, parkour into enemies at the start of mission, and then turn on your 4. Keep casting Pillage whenever you see unstripped enemies near your hitbox and strafe to them. That's all you need to do. Acolyte spawns? Just spin around them until they die. Or if it's a problem, such as violence, just exit your cast and then enthrall them to disable their AI and remove their damage attenuation. 
then you're free to kill them with your four or weapons. Cheers! If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave like or better yet subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying my best to get you new information out always as soon as possible. Like I've been doing with the whispers in the wall update. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. You don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? That'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time.